Now, ah, a couple. Actually, yeah, two. So, but you guys are really going to have to pay attention to this one, Tyler, because I swear. This one. So far, ladies and gentlemen, we have been writing proofs, right? And I told you guys to write proofs. You have to understand angle relationships and so forth. And writing proofs, we went over these congruencies, right? So when we were trying to write proofs, we said, all right, if we can prove that we have, you know, so many sides are equal or so many angles are equal, we can prove that the triangles are congruent. And everybody always kept on asking me, when are we going to talk about side side angle? Because I like to call it angle side side. Ha 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 ha. Okay, it's now it's out of our system. All right. But does this prove congruency? Is there one up there? All right. Is yeah. Absolutely. So what we need to do is let's look at what a triangle like that would look like. I'll talk about that in a second as well. So let's look at angle side side. Okay. That's what angle side side looks like. Do you get those? Okay, very good. So this is angle side side. Now, guess what? Angle side side, unless there is a requirement, does not prove congruency. The reason being, guess what you can do with angle side side? You can treat this as a pivot point, rotate this inward, actually probably a little bit farther, something maybe like that. And I can rewrite this exact same triangle with the exact same angle, exact same angle measurements. Okay, so you guys see what I did? These are both angle, angle, side, right? Angle, side, side, angle, side, side. The measurements are exactly the same, but what I did is I treated this as a rotation and I rotated it inward. So now it looks like that, right? So ladies and gentlemen, when you see angle or side side angle, do not tell me that you can prove congruency with there. Unless there's an option. There is always an option. The one option to prove side side angle is when, oh, I'm sorry, side side angle, yeah. To prove side side angle is when we have our angle is a 90 degree angle. All right? So, but we don't call it side side angle though. We call it HL. And what HL represents is hypotenuse leg. And what I like about using HL and thinking about it is you know you have to have a hypotenuse and you know you have to have a leg. You only have a hypotenuse and a leg in a right triangle, meaning when a triangle contains a right angle. All right? You can't say there's a hypotenuse and a leg here. Well, I guess you could go ahead and look at it. But when you're talking about when you have the hypotenuse and a leg of, your, of a right triangle, you can be able to determine that. We've got time, right? We've got time? Yeah. So please don't use congruency, because you guys will be tested on this. Keith, that's not what I thought you were supposed to be doing. You will be tested on congruency. I will give you two triangles and say, hey, there's side side angle. Are they congruent? And you're going to have to say, oh, is there a right angle? No, there's not. So no, there is no congruency. Or hey, there is, a, there is a right angle. So yes, these are congruent by HL theorem. OK? Hypotenuse leg. So that's it with that. Um, 